Hi, welcome back to this video series on quadratic residues. Uh, in this segment, I'm going to talk about how we can find the square root of a number in a composite group. So more precisely, suppose we are given a number A and we need to find um, a number X such that when you do X square, you get A. Uh, this is basically the definition of square root, uh, but in mod N, okay? So we will be dealing with a group, a composite group N, okay? Uh, Z star N basically. So what is mod N? Uh, we probably know mod N means uh, in this context, we are talking about the elements um, made of numbers from uh, the set, uh, say I call it uh, Y, right? Such that uh, GCD of uh, N comma Y is one, okay? This is, this is the type of uh, setup um, we are going to solve the problem of finding square root. Our goal is to, given, a, given an A, find an X, okay? This is our goal. What is N? N itself is made of uh, two um, odd prime numbers, distinct prime numbers. So we can assume N is product of two numbers, P and Q, both are prime and odd, okay? All right, so if we know the prime factors of N, um, there is a way to find the square root of A. That's what I'm going to talk about. In the previous segment, we solved the same problem, uh, but we assumed there x square is equal to or congruent to uh, a mod p. p is a prime. We, we talked about that. Okay. In this segment, we will, we will talk about finding a solution um, square root problem in the context of a composite group. Okay. So this we know how to solve. Uh, especially, uh, we made more assumptions in the previous segment that if p is actually uh, 3 mod 4, the problem is much easier to solve. Okay. We're going to still continue this assumption that both P and Q are three mod four, uh, which makes it easier for us to solve because uh, if somebody gives us this equation and asks us to find an X, uh, that will make X squared to be A. So given A and P, we can easily find an X. The answer X is basically, we talked about the proof uh, during the previous segment. It is A power uh, P plus one by four in mod P, of course. This is due to Euler's criterion. We were able to apply this formula to find the square root of A. In other words, A is a, is a quadratic residue and X is the square root of A. We know how to solve this uh, when P is three mod four. When P is not three mod four, it is still possible to solve, but that's not important for the crypto system we will talk about later. Okay, so we will make this assumption here. So now let's get, get back to this problem. The problem we want to solve is um, given an A, right, the inputs are A and N, we need to find an X such that X square is congruent to A mod N. Uh, how are we going to do that? Um, we will actually apply uh, the Chinese reminder theorem to solve this problem. It's a very convenient way to rewrite this problem. First, we take the A, right? The A is given as input, N is another input. What we will do is we'll map the A from, um, from N to basically uh, the combination of two numbers, okay? What are the numbers? We do A mod P. Remember, we are now assume we know the prime factors, okay? And A mod Q. A mod P, A mod Q, uh, meaning we find the square root of A mod P, A mod Q, and then we get, get that pair and we, we transform that back to N. So we are basically, uh, going to make use of this and then apply Chinese reminder theorem. So that's the idea. And uh, uh, we have talked about Chinese reminder theorem in my other segments, so I will uh, I will not go into the details of that. So let me take an example to, to show you how we can find a square root of n, n being a composite uh, number made of two primes p and q. Uh, both p and q satisfy this particular property that you're seeing p is congruent to 3 mod 4 and q is also congruent to 3 mod 4. So let me take an example and walk you through that. Okay, so the example that I have uh, written is basically a um, simple uh, program that will help us to do the analysis easily. Let, let's take a simple example. Let's take P, B, B, P, B3 and Q, B7, uh, right? N is equal to P times Q, which, which is composite. And we can verify easily that uh, both P and Q are three mod four, right? So that's, that's a good property we, we need to have. Um, 
let's look at the quadratic ratio of uh, n. Okay. Uh, see, you're not really finding the quadratic ratio for a particular element. This is going to show for all the elements of uh, z star n. Okay. And uh, look at the second column. The second column shows the elements uh, 1, 4, 16. These three elements have square roots, right? Because we can write uh, 1 as 1 square, 4 as uh, 2 square, uh, 5 square, uh, 16 square, and 19 square. They're all equal to 4 in uh, uh, n. n is 21 in our case. OK, so this is the set of all quadratic residues uh, in the context of z star uh, 21. OK, so now the question is, given a number, say let's take an example number 16. OK, what are the square roots of 16? We do know that uh, six, one of the roots is 4. We know, we know that from uh, regular basic um, elementary math. But uh, I'm going to use the idea of Chinese reminder theorem to project the 16 into a smaller group and then apply the previous segment idea to, to find the roots of 16. Okay. okay, so what are we going to do? We take 16 and we transform it into mod p mod q. So what is the first step? Mod p in our case is 3, right? Uh, mod q is in our case 7. So 16 mod 3, first step is 16 mod 3 is 1. And the 16 mod 7 is uh, 2. Okay, so now we need to solve and find the square roots of 1 and 2. Uh, let's do that. What is square root of 1? This is, by the way, coming from the first group, right? 3. And the second group, 7. Remember p equal to 3, q equal to 7. All right, so uh, how are we going to do that? We can just simply and uh, print the uh, print the okay so here is the ratio of three what are the square roots of one square roots of one are either one or two because two square is four four mod three is one so square roots of one um we can write it here what are the square roots of one square root of one um is basically made of numbers um, in 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 mod p i'm writing right square root of one uh, a, a, is made of numbers one and two. Okay, so set of numbers one and two. What about uh, square root of two in mod seven? Because this is three and seven. We need to do both. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do uh, seven now. Okay, the square root of two are what are the square roots of two? Two square roots of two are three and uh, four because three square is nine. Nine mod seven is two. Uh, 4 squared is 16, 16 mod 7 is 2. So 3 and 4 are the square roots of, um, of uh, 2. But we can also apply the formula we learned earlier in the previous segment. Um, we, in order to find the square root of A, it's enough to do this, right? Um, A is, say, 2, for example. We, we just print, uh, remember, A power P plus 1 by 4 in mod P will give us the answer. I think uh, we need to put P to be 7. So in this case, uh, we need to we can directly use 7 plus 1 and uh, we can put 7 so this way we can solve the problem okay so we got one root 4 and we know other root is minus 4 and minus 4 is the same as 3 in mod 7 so we can confirm our 3 and 4 are correct answers okay so this is done now let me write it for you square root of 2 right in mod 7 so this is in mod 3 just not to be confused. This is in mod three, square root of one or one and two. And I'm doing the same for square root of two, which is made of numbers three and four, basically three and four. And uh, this is basically mod seven. So now we can uh, go back to the original problem, okay? We mapped seven, uh, 16 from Z star 21. This is remember 16 is part of Z star 21. Uh, into uh, numbers one and two, right? This is 16 gets transformed into numbers one and two. And we got that, uh, we got that. But now uh, we found the square root of one is basically made of uh, uh, elements two and one and square root of two, three and four. So what are the possible square roots of one and two then? Okay. So the square roots of one and two are uh, all these pairs, one, three, Okay, so 1, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, and 2, 4. These are all the square roots of num the pair um, 1, 2. We can actually check it for ourselves to convince that this is the case. 
let's take uh, for example 2 3 and multiply itself what will happen when you multiply 2 3 into 2 3 we get 4 9 4 9 in um, 4 9 is the pair you will get if you multiply this two times right and you have to project it in p and q respectively which means it will become 1 and 2 which is exactly the point that we are trying to find the square root for so these are the square roots of the number or the pair 1 2 okay these are the square roots of the pair 1 2 made of all these numbers okay now we can take each of these numbers right each of these pairs and put it back into z star 21 okay so how do we do that well in that case we can make use of our um, chinese reminder theorem that will help us to project it project this back okay so i'm going to do that chinese reminder theorem trick now okay so what i'm going to do is essentially take for example one three apply chinese reminder theorem and show to you that um, we can get back the roots of uh, 16 easily using chinese reminder theorem trick so we'll do this crt and my pairs are one comma three right and p comma q and the n so this should give us oh, this should give us the first transformation for the first pair one comma three okay so hopefully yeah ten, you get 10. now let's think about it uh, what happens we do 10 square 10 square is actually uh, 10 square is uh, 100 what is 100 mod uh, 21 hopefully it comes to be 16 which is exactly the number that we are looking for to find the square root right so 10 is a square root of um, a 16 in mod 21 so we got the first number now we can do the same for the next pair next pair is 1 comma 4 we got 4 4 square is 16 we know for sure what about 2 3 last almost there 17 17 square we can confirm ourselves 17 square in mod 21 is 16 yeah we get this and the finally 2 4 okay so almost there this 11 we can confirm that 11 square is also 16 in mod 21 so we found the four roots of uh, number 16 first let me summarize what we did we transformed 16 into uh, z star p c star q which which means we got one and two that's the reason why you're seeing uh, one and two here right this part one and two is coming from this transformation and then we took the square root of one which is made of two numbers one and two and square root of two which has three and four so um, we have an ordered pair one comma two right the ordered pair one comma two has four roots so this is a, these are the four roots one comma three one comma four two comma three two comma four these are the square roots of um, ordered pair uh, one comma two but uh, we need to go back to the original set z star n because that's the set that we are working with so we transformed 1 comma 3 1 comma 4 2 comma 3 2 comma 4 back to the original set using chinese reminder theorem which we talked about in the other segments all right so in this video we learned how to compute square root of a composite uh, square root of a number in a composite group uh, we made an assumption that we know the prime factors p and the q uh, we also made an assumption that p is equal to um, 3 mod um, 4 and q is equal to 3 mod 4 which is an assumption needed for a crypto system that I will talk later. Okay, that's basically it. Thank you very much.